Navigating Effect and Competing Obligations. Case Study Number 5. Indigenous communities have long recognized the necessity for an education that addresses not just the intellectual sphere, but the emotional, physical, and spiritual dimensions of learning. Research tasks, in particular, can elicit a variety of responses from students as they progress through the research process. In a study of 180 students at a technical community college, Mbi and Fancher, 2020, connected effective states experienced during research activities to cognitive functioning. Their study confirmed previous studies where research projects elicited a variety of effective states, such as frustration, overwhelm, anxiety, guilt or shame, passion or excitement, connection or solidarity, awe or amazement, anger or sadness, pragmatism, and empowerment. They concluded that it is clear that our students have complex lives with competing responsibilities and demands on their time, and that research, especially research for academic purposes, tends to produce an array of positive and negative emotions that can, at times, interfere with cognitive functioning. In other words, adopting a pedagogy of care by addressing the effective experiences and recognizing the competing social obligations students navigate as they complete large academic assignments is an important component of teaching students how to research effectively. Case study, Monisha. Monisha initially began her research with enthusiasm. However, as she continued searching, she quickly becomes discouraged as she realizes that finding helpful articles will be more difficult than she anticipated. In addition, as the weeks progress, pressure begins to mount as tests and assignment due dates start piling up. To top it all off, she learns that her father was laid off at work, and although she knows her parents don't want her to worry, she can tell they are concerned about their finances while her dad looks for another job. It weighs heavily on Monisha, since her parents have already sacrificed so much to help her afford her education. She starts looking at job ads and wondering if she should apply for part-time work. Reflection question. How could the instructor help alleviate or manage some of the pressure Monisha is experiencing? Case study, Aiden. Although Aiden is initially reluctant to begin the research process, he finally decides to ask a librarian for help on getting started a few days before the due date. It isn't long before the librarian has found a few really interesting articles. Aiden was surprised by how quickly the librarian found them and how she had some great tips for him if he needed more information. He starts feeling more confident about the project, but now he's in a bit of a time crunch. He only had a few more days to write the paper and the articles are long and challenging to read. He isn't sure where to start writing or how to draw connections between what he's read and the course content. With the due date approaching quickly, a sense of feeling overwhelmed immobilizes him. In his frustration, Aiden starts to look for a shortcut. Reflection question. How could the instructor encourage Aiden to better plan out his project? Strategies for success. Ensure your expectations for the assignment are clearly communicated to the students. Monitor students' stress levels and frustration. If excessive, consider whether your assignment is unclear, too complex, or at an inappropriate level of difficulty. Connect with your librarian to assess whether students require additional instruction or if the assignment itself can be modified to better focus on the specific skills and knowledge practices required. Normalize effective responses by providing opportunities for students to express the emotions they are feeling throughout the process. See what's causing those emotions, as well as how to nurture positive responses and how to problem solve when negative responses arise. Offer multiple, low-stake, mini-assignments to reduce stress levels. Avoid assigning penalties to due dates. Instead, consider due dates as a flexible guide to help students plan and manage their time.